So if you have a tight walk-in wardrobe um, the way we do, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that I use to maximise as much space in the wardrobe. Obviously, after having a cull, I feel so much better. Well, I don't feel better. My wardrobe feels better. Finally, I have finished doing my wardrobe overhaul and um, I have to say it's been so therapeutic. It took way longer than I expected and because I could not finish it all in one day uh, in between other stuff and there was a lot of getting rid of things and deciding should I keep, should I not keep. So it's it's it takes a lot longer, right? I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you done an overhaul in one day? I don't... How did you do it? I'd love to know. So do tell. Anyway, I've got some tips and tricks on... Um, what you can do if you have a tight wardrobe walk-in space the way I do, um, how you can maximize some of the space and what you can be doing to, um, to, you know, to get the most out of the space that you have. Okay, so tip number one, invest in some coat hangers. Really important. It'll help maximize and transform your wardrobe. And not only that, you will feel amazing um, picking out your clothes because everything looks so organized and uniform. And... That is the whole point, right? To keep it organized and uniform. I would invest in getting all your coat hangers looking the same and throwing out any other coat hangers that are not part of the collection. I've got three different types of coat hangers. So I have the velvet type. Not only do they look good, but they're really slim. So it means I can fit so much more into the wardrobe. Um, these are fantastic because they're quite grippy. Uh, they're neat. They're inexpensive to some degree um, and they're quite sturdy um, and you can get them in two colors, a so black and I think um, also like a, a sort of whitish type color, so depending on what you're after. I will leave a link down below where I got all the stuff from, but this one in particular was from Costco. So um, super good, super sturdy, and I think I bought a pack of 50 and um, they last forever. The second type of coat hanger that I use are these ones. So these are just fantastic uh, for trousers, jeans, whatever you want, skirts to hang them all up so they end up looking like so. And everything again looks nice and uniform and you have them all the same. And then the third type of coat hanger is the jacket coat hanger. So we have a jacket coat hanger like that. Basically, I think these ones we got them from Freedom. Um, nice and sturdy for your coats and your jackets. Uh, and you know, easy to dust off as well once that winter dust comes through. Okay, so tip number two would be to invest in some boot savers. I highly, highly recommend these. Now, there's a couple of different ones. You can get some that are inflatable. You can get some that look like um, part of a shoe saddlery type thing. I got these particular ones, um, and they're fantastic. Now, they can come in two different sizes. You can get them in the full size for long-length boots, and you can also get them in, I think, like a half size as well, I've seen, for the shorter style boots. They just keep your boots in shape, nice and stiff, and when you've got them in your wardrobe, if you don't have a display wardrobe, and I don't I mean if you do that's amazing but if you don't the way I do um, these tend to work at a gym now what I tend to do is in winter I pull out all my boots and in summer I tend to pack up my boots up the top because space is limited so and also I don't want them to get too dusty that's the other thing too it's all about the dust um, I can't handle the dust okay so that's my tip number two get yourself some boot savers so you Boots and shoes or your little boots all look organized. Nothing better than seeing them all displayed, picking them right for that perfect outfit. That's tip number two. So my tip number three is getting some drawer organizers. Super, super important because it helps you just organize everything in the wardrobe, um, in the drawers, nice and neat and quickly pick them out. I find that when you have these type of organizers, you do tend to stick with keeping everything nice and clean um, and easy to find. So um, that's my tip number three. So tip number four are some cleaning products that I keep in my wardrobe for quick dusting and cleaning um, for things. So I tend to keep a microfiber cloth. Uh, you can have that just in a little tray or in a drawer somewhere if you have the space. And I also keep some linen spray as well. And the reason why I keep the linen spray, sometimes you just want to quickly refresh your um, coats or jackets uh, and you're able to do that really fast. I just tend to do that. I've got some little hangers that I have here as well and I hang them up. I'll spray them, go do my makeup, come back, they're ready to go. So that's my tip for number four. 
get yourself a microfiber cloth and some linen spray and keep them in your wardrobe somewhere for quick easy access and then tip number five is get yourself some trays i got some clear trays from um pottery barn in this case so i'll leave a link down below i'm not sure again if they still sell them but the reason why i have things in trays is because it's easy to pull out in hard to reach places namely for me it's my handbags and my wallets and my purses but i also have a tray for my perfumes as well uh, and the reason being is i like to dust them so sometimes i'll take them all out and dust all the bottles off in one easy space wipe underneath rather than sort of wiping around um, but all the stuff that I need is organized and I can put my deodorant and a few things in there as well. So get yourself some trays, somewhere that you can quickly access different things um, and it makes it easier. So my tip number six is an outfit picker. And what I mean by that, now you can purchase what they call like a pull-out rail. You can put like a pull-out rail on the actual wardrobe itself and pull it out like you're in a boutique and hang the different types of clothes that you might want to wear for the outf um, for the week. So this is like an outfit of the week or an outfit of the day. I tend to have this so the night before or that night I sort of pick out and put what I need. Again, I've just bought some really good 3M clear, some Command hang strips, um, which allow me to just hang a coat hanger. They, I think, up to about one or two kilos is the maximum per strip. You need to just double check that because they come obviously in different sizes. But yeah, they're from the 3M range. It just allows me to pick an outfit and put that there. Otherwise, I can also hang a very light handbag on there too. Uh, so that is tip number six. Tip number seven, continuing on from the coat hangers, are just some more 3N command strips. I've put them in a row and I've stuck them up against the side of the wardrobe uh, and it is just for jewellery. Basically, I do also have a jewellery box here as well, but I tend to find I don't really use it that often, so I like to see everything in front of me. The alternative is have a jewellery organiser inside your drawers too, so you can get them from Howard Storage World and a few other different things. So that's my tip number six. Get yourself some jewellery hanger strips. Well, there you have it, guys. These are my tips and tricks for having a fantastic small organized walk-in wardrobe to suit any budget of course where is this going get yourself a Okay.